Did you know that half of men in their 60s experience symptoms of an enlarged prostate? This number jumps to 90% for men in their 70s and 80s. Quite staggering, isn't it? Now, you might be wondering what all this talk about an enlarged prostate is. Perhaps you're imagining a superhero named Prostate Man with the power of enlargement. Well, let's not get carried away. We're talking about a common condition that could affect any man as he ages. Prostate enlargement, or as the medical folks like to call it, benign prostatic hyperplasia, BPH for short. BPH is not a villain from a comic book, but it could certainly cause some trouble in the real world. It's like that annoying neighbor who decides to throw a loud party in the middle of the night, inconvenient and disruptive. Understanding this condition is crucial because it could significantly impact one's quality of life, especially when it comes to some of life's simplest pleasures, like a peaceful night's sleep. But fear not, knowledge is power, and that's why we're here. We'll arm you with all the information you need to understand what's going on when the prostate decides to go big. And no, it's not trying to win a biggest gland competition, so, are you ready? Let's dive into the fascinating world of the mysterious enlargement of the prostate. Now that we've piqued your curiosity, let's delve into what prostate enlargement really is. If you're wondering what an enlarged prostate is, you're not alone. So let's demystify it together. The prostate is a small, walnut-sized gland located just below a man's bladder. It's a critical part of the male reproductive system, producing a fluid that nourishes and transports sperm. Now as men age, this gland can start to grow, sometimes even doubling or tripling in size. This condition is known as prostate enlargement or medically termed as benign prostatic hyperplasia, often abbreviated as BPH. It's not cancerous or life-threatening, but it can squeeze the urethra, the tube that carries urine from the bladder out of the body, causing a variety of inconvenient and uncomfortable urinary symptoms. Sounds complicated, right? But don't worry, we've got your back as we explore the causes next. So, what causes this mysterious enlargement? Good question. The enlargement of the prostate, or benign prostatic hyperplasia, has a few key culprits. First off, the most common factor is aging. As men get older, the prostate naturally tends to increase in size. It's like your favorite childhood tree that only gets bigger and taller as the years pass by. It's a natural part of life, but it can sometimes lead to a few hiccups in the urinary department. Next up, we have hormonal changes. You see, hormones are like the secret messages your body sends to regulate various functions, including the growth of your prostate. The main hormones involved in this process are testosterone, estrogen, and a powerful derivative of testosterone called DHT, or dihydrotestosterone. As men age, testosterone levels decrease, while estrogen and DHT levels increase. This imbalance can lead to prostate enlargement. Imagine it like a seesaw that's tipped too far on one side. The goal is to bring it back to a balanced state. Aromatase, the enzyme involved in the conversion of testosterone into estrogen and DHT, plays a significant role in prostate enlargement. Family history also plays a significant role. If your father or brother has had prostate issues, you're more likely to have them as well. It's like inheriting your grandpa's vintage watch, but instead, you get an enlarged prostate. Not as exciting, but certainly important to be aware of. And then there's lifestyle. Unhealthy habits such as poor diet, lack of exercise, and excessive alcohol consumption can also contribute to an enlarged prostate. It's like treating your body like a luxury car. If you fill it with poor quality fuel and neglect regular maintenance, it won't run as smoothly as it should. Lastly, metabolic health can influence the size of the prostate. Conditions like obesity, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, and insulin resistance can all contribute to prostate enlargement. It's a domino effect where one health issue can lead to another. Now that we know the causes, let's examine the signs that might suggest you have an enlarged prostate. The first step in combating any problem is recognizing its existence. Now let's delve into the telltale signs of prostate enlargement. The symptoms can vary, but some of the most common indications include frequent urination, especially at night, and difficulty starting and stopping urine flow. You might also notice a weak urine stream, or the feeling that you can't completely empty your bladder. These symptoms could be subtle at first but can progressively become more noticeable and disruptive to your daily life. Now a question that often arises is whether an enlarged prostate can lead to prostate cancer or erectile dysfunction. While an enlarged prostate is not cancerous and doesn't increase the risk of prostate cancer it can potentially lead to other complications. In terms of erectile dysfunction, research shows a complex relationship. 
While they often occur together due to similar risk factors, an enlarged prostate doesn't directly cause erectile dysfunction. However, some treatments for an enlarged prostate can lead to sexual side effects. If you're experiencing any of these symptoms, it's time to look at your treatment options. It's crucial to remember that early detection and intervention can help manage this condition more effectively. Don't brush off these signs as merely a part of aging. Instead, approach a healthcare provider to discuss your symptoms and explore the best course of action. Now let's talk about how to tackle this problem. Dealing with prostate enlargement isn't just about managing symptoms, it's about taking control of your health. To do this, we need to understand the various treatment options available. First off, lifestyle changes. These are often the first line of defense when dealing with an enlarged prostate. A balanced diet, regular exercise, and maintaining a healthy weight can go a long way in managing symptoms and promoting overall prostate health. Avoiding bladder irritants like caffeine and alcohol and not drinking fluids close to bedtime can also help reduce the frequency of those pesky bathroom trips. Next up are medications. There is a whole range of them out there, each designed to address different aspects of the condition. Some medicines, like alpha blockers, work by relaxing the muscles in the prostate and bladder, improving urine flow. Others, like aromatase inhibitors, aim to shrink the prostate gland itself, reducing the pressure it exerts on the urethra. It's important to remember though, that while these drugs can be very effective, they do come with potential side effects. In more severe cases, where lifestyle changes and medications aren't providing enough relief, surgical options may be considered. These can range from minimally invasive procedures which remove excess prostate tissue, to a full-on prostatectomy, the complete removal of the prostate gland. The choice of surgery depends on the severity of the symptoms, the size of the prostate, and the patient's overall health. But wait, I hear you say, isn't there a natural way to deal with this? Well, you're in luck. Before you rush off to the pharmacy or schedule that surgery, let's consider some natural prevention and treatment methods. Mother Nature has bestowed us with several weapons to combat prostate enlargement. One of these is celery. This humble vegetable is rich in compounds called phytoestrogens that inhibit aromatase, an enzyme involved in the conversion of testosterone to estrogen, which plays a significant role in prostate enlargement. Next on our list is parsley. Just like celery, parsley contains compounds that can help regulate hormonal balance, thereby supporting prostate health. Now let's talk about citrus peels. They are not only a great source of vitamin C, but also contain compounds that can inhibit the activity of aromatase. Next, we have omega-3 fatty acids. These healthy fats, found in foods like fish and flax seeds, support overall health and can help maintain a healthy prostate. Zinc is another essential nutrient for prostate health. This mineral, found in foods such as oysters, red meat and pumpkin seeds, can inhibit the activity of the enzyme that converts testosterone to DHT, reducing the growth of prostate tissue. Zinc also protects prostate cells from free radicals and reduces inflammation lowering the risk of prostate enlargement and cancer. Last but certainly not least, we have tomatoes. Rich in a compound called lycopene, tomatoes have been linked to a reduced risk of prostate enlargement and cancer. Remember, the best defense is a good offense. So, let's keep that prostate healthy. Let's quickly recap what we've learned in this video. We've uncovered the mystery behind prostate enlargement or benign prostatic hyperplasia, a condition that affects many men as they age. We've discussed the causes, symptoms, and traditional medical treatments, highlighting the importance of early detection and management. We've also explored the power of diet, emphasizing foods like celery, parsley, citrus peels, omega-3 fatty acids, zinc, and tomato-derived lycopene. These key nutrients can help regulate hormones and support prostate health. Remember, if you have any symptoms or concerns, it's crucial to consult with your healthcare provider. We appreciate you tuning into our channel today. Your journey to understanding and managing prostate enlargement doesn't have to stop here. In fact, it's just beginning. By subscribing to our channel, you are taking a proactive approach to your health and wellness. Each click of the like button and every share helps us reach more people, empowering them with knowledge for a healthier life. In your pursuit of health, we invite you to check out the affiliate links in the description below. Here, you'll find carefully selected, high-quality products that can help in the natural prevention and treatment of an enlarged prostate. These resources are designed to complement the information we've shared, giving you practical tools for your health journey. But before you go, we have one more invitation for you. On the screen, you'll see other videos. Go ahead, click on one.
there's a wealth of valuable health-related content waiting for you. Until next time, take good care and keep upping your health IQ.